break from the usual tonight here at West Plains Motor Speedway is a lightning fast racing surface. Greeted the traveling stars of the United States Modified Touring Series. At the end of the 40 lap main event, it was Jason Hughes coming out on top to score his first win here the 2013 season. Oh, just trying to run around there and keep up with him. I knew he was going to be pretty good around this place. Uh, he's got a few more laps than I do here, but and uh, just got to racing with him, and he, he, just, he was trying something there. And, you know, he made a little mistake, and we got by, and I was just hoping I didn't make a mistake so he could get back by. I, I know he'd still be there hunting me down. He made a push right there at the end, probably over the last side. Uh, had the last three start on lap 24 from, from there to the end. Mm -hmm. um, he was he was really closing on you. He closed two or three times, and Bobble or whatever wasn't able to get to you. Could you sense he was there? I didn't really know if he was there or not, but I was using a lot of racetrack. <laughs> I was trying to make her wide and run my line. But, uh, you know, once I got out front there, I kind of I kind of watched him and learned a little bit there and found me a good line and just tried to stay hooked with it and not make a mistake. So he, he wouldn't get back by. Hughes redrew the pole, but immediately Friday's winner, Jeremy Payne, pulled out front and opened up the lead early. On the 10th circuit, Hughes pulled a lane lower than Payne and reassumed the top spot for good. Lap traffic came into play around the 15th marker, then the first of three yellows waved a lap after for Steve Pacou, who stopped in turn four. On the restart, two more laps were ran before Brian Rowland and Johnny Scott made contact, ending Scott's night early. The final yellow flew on lap 20 for Johnny's brother Stormy Scott. Rodney Sanders had a great restart and took over second from Payne when the green flag waved. Then the 186 went to work. He jumped to the highest lane available and set his sights on Sanders and then pulled close to Hughes twice in the late stages. The finish was good as Payne came up just short of sweeping the weekend. Yeah, uh, started second, so run second. It's not, not real good, but uh, we'll take it. You know, it was a pretty good weekend overall. Real good, actually, and... Uh, just this track was pretty uh, pretty treacherous tonight, you know, it was just really fast, really fast all night. And uh, yeah, Hughes got by me on the bottom there in three and four and I kind of changed my line for a little bit. And I kept seeing that, you know, that line I'd been running at the, at the beginning of the race and I kept thinking about going back up there. And uh, actually on one of them late restarts, I jumped the cushion and Rodney got by me and so I started searching and I found a little something. and. Uh, just a little bit too late. Sanders filled out the top three and had his work cut out for him from the get-go, passing 10 cars over the race's duration. Ryan Gustin had a tough start to the evening, but he fought back to earn the Mesilla Valley Transportation Hard Charger Award with a 19th to 4th place run. The weekend was also good to Kelly Shryock, who took his second straight top five finish. The win is Hughes 112th in USMTS competition. He, like most frontrunners, took part in the Big Dog buy-in for a $4,000 winner's share Saturday evening. The series series now shifts to the Farm Boy Barbecue Sauce Northern Region, where races will take place next Wednesday through Saturday in Iowa and Minnesota. Trenton Berry for USMTS.com.